I'm at TPB Engineering here in Abingdon, where they've recently purchased a brand new machine from Herco. Terry, let's get straight into it. Um, a new machine, what do you think of it, this Herco TMM8i? It's excellent. Um, it's like having two spindles. Um, we can do the turning on it, the milling on it. We were actually looking to get a fourth axis for one of the mills. This saves that. It's another operation we don't have to do. The components come off finished and it's so easy to program. It's, the Herco control is so easy. Now, having spoken to David Waghorn at Herco, we reviewed the machine mm -hmm. and he was talking about how the machine had now more capacity in yep. a similar or if not smaller footprint, more power. Mm -hmm. um, the control is uh, a lot more sophisticated and powerful than it was before. W would you concur with those comments? I would, yeah. yeah. Um, we've had no issues at all. I mean, some of the components we've been running, uh, D2 tool steel and just cuts it like normal steel. It really does, there's no vibration, um, accuracy wise, it's, it's just consistent all the time. You mentioned earlier to me about the VDI tooling as well mm -hmm. that you've got in here, the VDI 30 tooling. Often people make a comparison between that and the BMT turrets. And sometimes they say, if you want a, a heavier duty cutting operation, you go for a BMT, but you've not certainly witnessed anything here that would suggest this is, has frailties. No, I mean, we've got, um, we've got a standard lathe as well with um, the normal block tooling and we use that as well, but this, um, the VDI is great. I mean, we've got a lot of call-off products, 50 a month, all the tool loads can be set up, put back in, they go back within microns. Uh, you can just load the program, put the tools in, tell the machine what pockets they're in, and away you go. And that, that must be an advantage because if you've only got 12 stations, which yeah. all machines like this have, you do sometimes need to change tools maybe on a job, don't you? So the quicker you can do that, the better. Yeah, yeah, that's it. with turning, obviously, it's not like milling where you've just got an end mill or a slot drill or a drill. Um, there's lots of different types of tools, different shapes. So to get in on different um, components, we need to change tools. Yeah, um, it's obviously um, with the video tooling, it's just quick and easy. I mean, the setup takes 10 minutes. It's, it's all done. And what's the bar capacity on this now? This is two inch on this one. Two inch, okay. And, and you're using a bar puller. That, that, I mean, space for everybody is, is can, can be yes, yeah. a concern. Um, that, that's good that you've got a bar puller. You don't need the bar feed. Exactly. Um, obviously, with the bar puller, you do lose another station, um, so you've got to take that into account. But on, on a lot of work, we can just put a one metre length bar in and away it goes with the bar puller, empty the parts catcher uh, and put another bar in. Um, we don't have a, a second shift, so having a bar feeder for us wasn't really uh, something that we contemplated because we wouldn't have enough room in the parts catcher for the parts. So. You mentioned about machining D2, mm -hmm. fine on the turning side, but yep. my question to you is how did it cope when you were milling with this turret? Absolutely fine. Um, used the right tool in um, and everything was fine. Come out consistently the same size within, again, within microns. Within microns, yeah. yeah. Now we all know that um, Herco's success or the, the linchpin to their success has been their control on their machining centres. Is this control here now on the lathes similar in performance and what you can actually do with it? Yeah, uh, the milling uh, option on the rotary is exactly the same as the mill um, for, the, for the turning side of things. So if you can program the mill on rotary, you can program the lathe. It's, it's so, so straightforward. Simple things that we always do on turning would be hexagons um, or flats. You can just define how many sides and what size the inner diameter is, and the machine takes care of it. You can, you can offset it so that you can do roughing passes, you can do rough and finish in one, on one block, um, radial holes, PCD of holes, it's extremely simple to program. What about the importing of files? Yes, you can import, you can have a DXF or you can bring in a 3D step file as well um, and select features, just set your datum on it to where you are on the machine and select features. And does the touch screen help you? Yes, touch screen makes life so much easier. You can just create a window around things, um, you can select individual um, parts of the program instantly without having to jump through bits and pieces. So yeah, the touch screen makes a big difference. And it's no secret that they've, they continue to try and advance the control to uh, the levels of some cam solutions. Mm -hmm. And with a cam solution, part of the purpose is to speed up cycle times and improve uh, machining processes. Does this control do that as well? Yes, um, you can put the parameters in for your roughing and everything, but it also has the option for NC merge. So you, if you had a cam system, you can actually program it offline and then use NC merge and call in it halfway through your program or run that instead. So you can do NC code as well as doing conversational. But what about the optimization of a machining process? If, 
what you tell it, will it do or will it go, actually, there's a better way of doing this? No, it will do what you tell it to do. So what you see on the screen is what you'll get. So if it shows that it's not doing it right, that's what you're going to get. So the screen, the, how it translates the information on the screen is very, very good. If you had a few words to say about the build quality of mm -hmm. the machines now, um, you've known Herco for a long time. You used to, in fact, work there. You've yeah. seen them grow you know, yes. yeah. phenomenally in the last two decades. Mm -hmm. What would you put, um, firstly, that down to? And then when you look at the build of this machine, how much have they really you know, stolen a march? Well, I think they've really come on. I mean, this machine isn't bolted down. Uh, but there's no vibration, you know, the tool holders, the turrets. Yes, we've had colour issues where it might take them too big a cut, um, but it's not affected the machine in one way. We double check the machine accuracy and it's perfect, absolutely perfect. And I think the new colour scheme works really well. Remember the old uh, white and blue, so much nicer with the grey, curved. It's just a much nicer machine. And the options that you get with the machine, do they tend to be uh, the types of options that you need as standard? Uh, I think the NC Merge is a good one. So if you do need to, if you want to optimise something, then, then, you know, obviously the Herco is can cycles. It's you're putting the data in. But if you do want to do something a little bit fancier, you've got the NC ability there as well. So obviously, um, swarf management is key. You want to get the uh, waste material away as soon as possible. Um, apart from that, I, I like to have a collet chuck. They they come standard with a three jaw chuck. Um, I have got a collet chuck for it as well. But it um, depends what work you're doing. And for you as a small business and you're here pretty much on your own, you can't afford downtime. No. You've been impressed? Yes, yes, I'm very pleased with it. Yeah, you know, the, the work we're doing on it, it saved me two or three operations on the mill. So having this now just makes our life easier. It's, it is like having two machines.